Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Mathis, I'm a developer advocate at Timescale, and today we're gonna to talk about how to store and query large blockchain data sets. Um, before we do that though, I'd like to talk a little bit about myself uh, because I've been a Bitcoin miner, well I used to be, um, for, for quite a bit. Uh, I used to mine Bitcoins in my mom's basement with, with my um, ant miner, what is it, S9, um, back in like 2017. I've since mined Ethereum with my GPUs, and I've mined uh, Sia with with my with my hard disks. Um, so, needless to say, I have been around the blockchain um, quite a bit too. And uh, for that reason, I thought it'd be cool to look at how we can improve the efficiency of doing analysis on the blockchain to see if it you know is profitable to mine or what coin to mine or, or this or that. Um, and that's a big, pretty big problem because the blockchain is pretty huge. Uh, as it stands, I think the blockchain, the Bitcoin blockchain is about 500 gigabytes, uh, which is a fairly non-trivial size to both store and, and do analysis on. Uh, so one way you can improve your, your, your efficiency is by using something like Timescale. Uh, and for the people that don't know what Timescale is, but you're watching this video, so I, I assume you do in, in some capacity, but I'll gladly reiterate. Uh, Timescale is a time series database built on top of Postgres. Uh, especially engineered to accelerate your time series workloads. Um, and we're great for crypto because crypto is financial data uh, and the blockchain is essentially just uh, like an OLTP uh, transactional like append only database. Um, and we have quite the few customers uh, in the crypto space already using Timescale, um, including Protocol Labs, Chainlink, Coinbase, uh, Masari. Uh, we have a whole bunch. And a lot of these were also at uh, Bitcoin. Um, so if you got to talk to them about timescale, um, that was probably really cool. The way these companies improve their, their cost efficiency while doing analysis on both um, crypto data, tick data, um, and the blockchain is by using some of our features. One of these features, especially for storage cost efficiency, is compression. Uh, timescale has great compression. Um, the great thing about compression with time skill is that um, to enable compression, you just need these two uh, SQL statements. Um, and then after that, as soon as you've done that, time school will automatically start compressing your data and you never have to worry about it again. It will automatically compress new data, uh, in this case, after two weeks. Um, and you see here we have, or we started off with uh, a blockchain database of about 254 gigabytes, and we were able to compress that down to about 80 gigabytes, which is 68% uh, compression. Um, if I was able to go to my boss and tell him, hey, we saved 68% uh, you know, in perpetuity, uh, um, I think that would, be a, that would be a pretty good day for me. Uh, so compression is really neat, um, but that's only one part of the cost efficiency equation. Um, as you see here in our transactions data set, which is literally just every transaction in the blockchain, uh, we have about 651 million rows, and this is, I think, over the last couple years. Uh, the problem with that is that um, if you're doing any kind of analysis, maybe you're doing a daily average or you're any kind of average, um, timescale is going to have to touch every one of these 651 million rows. Um, and regardless of how big your instance is, uh, this is going to take quite a while. Um, so how can we speed this up? Or how can we speed this up in real time, rather? Um, and that's by using uh, a feature called continuous aggregates. Um, and this feature is kind of complex, but it's sort of the cornerstone of a lot of time scales uh, features. So if you really want to know more about this, please read our docs, because we have people that have explained this way better than I can in a couple minutes. Uh, but essentially, a, a small rundown would be that if uh, if you're using continuous aggregates, um, it will sort of pre-aggregate all your data or obviously the data in your table. Um, it will pre-aggregate or, or pre-calculate some metrics in this case, like the average or the sum of a specific, a specific field so that um, you don't have to calculate that on the fly. Um, in this case, we're calculating the, the, the daily average amount of transactions uh, per um, per one day so that if we try to visualize that in, um, in a, a graph or do we try to plot that um, means we don't have to do that on the fly, which would take quite a while. 
Obviously, Timescale has a lot more features that will help you accelerate your, your time series workloads and your, your data analysis of the blockchain, uh, but I only have a couple minutes here. Um, so if you have any questions, if you have any doubts, um, if you would like to talk to any of us, which we happily do, uh, please reach out to us either uh, via email, via Slack, uh, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, any of those. Uh, we'd love to talk to you. We'd love to help you figure out how Timescale might fit into uh, your workload or or your environment. Um, I hope you had an opportunity to come talk to us at the Bitcoin conference. Um, if not, we might see you next year. Um, so that's great. I hope you do reach out. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Mathis and I'll see you next time.